Okay, in this video we're looking at our composition books and where things are going to go. Um, we had on page 33 words into math and then on page 34 we're going to have our four examples of turning word problems into um, two variable equations. So we will title that writing two variable equations. Writing two variable equations. There we go. That's page 34. And then on the next page, that would be the end of unit two. So we'll leave that blank and we will go to this page and we'll do what we call a burner page. And this is going to be unit three. And this is where we're going to color in this box and in this box so that we have our divider. And the back of that one will also remain blank and then we will have page 35 and this is where you're going to paste the notes that you take called finding intercepts and graphing standard form and that's on page 35 on page 36 you are going to have what we call parts of a graph this is just um, a picture of what are the various things that you need to have whenever you're having um, having to label a graph. You need to have a title. You need to have easily or sorry evenly paced spaced scaling. Let me try that again. Evenly spaced scale for the y-axis and for the x-axis. They may be counted differently, but you need to count by ones, by twos, by halves, whatever it is you need to count by. And then you should also be having your zero marked here. Your x-axis needs to be labeled with your independent variable. Your y-axis should be labeled with your dependent variable. So these are the parts of a graph. And then the next page is going to be rate of change. At the time of filming, there were two options. I have already um, made a video for this rate of change for these notes, and you can go look at that to get this filled out. And if we don't use this, then we might be using this one with the little cloud and the face. So um, that's what's going to go on this one. If we choose to use this one, I'll make another video with these notes in it. Then on page 38 is going to go the notes for finding slope from either a graph, an equation, from two points, or from a table. And in this particular set of notes, you're going to have two separate videos. One for the flaps, because we're going to end up with some flaps. And then one where we just do the internal problem here dealing with totes. So that is um, the video for the next few pages in your composition book. So you need to get those glued in, watch this back, and pause as necessary.